Yo, it is good, yo. It's your boy Tom back here with another video. And in this video today, we are going to be talking about my predictions for season eight in NBA 2K21, my team. Now, in this video, we are going to go over kind of the the, the reward kind of predictions as well as, as future content predictions and cards that we could see in packs in the future as well. Now, before I go any further, if you are new to my channel, have not yet please consider smashing that subscribe button as we are on the road to 70,000 subscribe shout out to my guy nba 2k showtime for coming up with all of these graphics that you guys will see in this video today absolutely incredible concepts that he comes up with and the link to his twitter and instagram will be down below in the description if that's something you are interested in makes incredible 2k different types of concepts for future packs all of those things so if you're interested in that make sure to go follow him on twitter and instagram those links will be down below in the description so for season eight in nba 2k 21 my team i think the theme behind it it possibly could be we got next now the reasoning behind me thinking that is because yes i know a lot of people think we're gonna see the next goat cards the the, the beginning of the end whatever you guys want to kind of think as far as the end of my team but my theory is this we still have all of june we still have all of July, and we still have half of August, at least before content does start to die down. So we have two and a half more months, which to me means at least two more seasons. So I don't think, obviously, this is going to be the last season we get. I think we do get nine seasons. I think it would make total sense to get nine seasons. And with that being says, I said, I think this, the, the real theme behind this season is going to be young talent. Now with young talent, that doesn't just mean rookies that you could also see second, third year players that are kind of on the come up. I do think we are going to see a lot of kind of young talent because I feel like that's where 2K could turn. We've, we've kind of saved a lot of those types of guys. You guys know we did see a new Zion, but a pink diamond Zion, we haven't seen a better Zion since the, the last Dark Matter card. So we could see a new Zion soon, could see obviously a new and new lamella all these types of rookies or young players in my team in general so i'm just gonna go through kind of you guys can see it on this type of screen kind of what i believe obviously you can start this season with what what we saw as derrick rose last season i think we could see a jay sean tate jay sean tate's kind of a card who came on this season who, in my opinion, uh, really excelled. I think Jay Sean Tate played very, very well uh, for the Houston Rockets. And I could see him as kind of that Evo player that people will, will probably nobody's going to use him, but just kind of that free card that everybody gets at the start of the season. And then next in line is the We Got Next Level 40 reward, LaMelo Ball. Now, I do believe the le next level 40 card might be an invincible card. And if we do see a LaMelo Ball, I fully expect him to be an invincible card. Because with the stage we're at in my team, I'm not going to sit here and say LaMelo would have to be an invincible card. But he would have to be very, very solid to be worth grinding for. And I think if they did drop an invincible LaMelo Ball as that level 40 reward, a lot more people would be more inclined to play in the season 8 we got next obviously the new domination we could see east reward we could see west reward including john collins uh as possibly the east reward west maybe we could see a guy like desmond bain that type of a player and maybe we could see a cam johnson implemented in domination as well plenty of different options there in domination but remember we're still needing the one more domination and i don't know if it necessarily is going to be east or west but we will see those three top rewards as we normally do collect rings in limited obviously with window carter jr headlining it right there now honestly i was thinking deandre ayton before we did get the new card now window carter jr is a, a guy that i do think we see another window carter jr card at some point because i didn't even mind the ruby card when he first came out and again just another young player uh that is that, that you know 2k could implement into the game unlimited reward point guard shooting guard shea gilges alexander for shea as far as an unlimited reward i think it just kind of fits the mold of what 2k likes to do with unlimited rewards they don't like to make the unlimited reward necessarily the best player in nba 2k 21 my team they're usually usable right they're not terrible and shea would just be a card that i personally would grind for just because i really do like shea gilges alexander so the token market reopening i do think that is going to be back next season now instead of just badge packs i expect we might be able to open normal packs right so we've seen that in past kind of years where we've been able to go in that token market and open different types of packs now the last anthony edwards cards that's just the young stars that we are going to see all season young all season long whether it's ant-man whether it's a guy like lamello if he's not the invincible reward 
whether it's Tyrese Halbert. We have so many different ways and so many different avenues that we could see in season eight of NBA 2K21 My Team. Now to go along with these things, obviously on this kind of on this on this headline, some other cards that I think we could possibly see headlining things. DeAndre Hunter is a card that I think could be coming very, very soon if we do get a good DeAndre Hunter card. And if we do get another exchange reward, expect young players that aren't super, super good. For example, Jalen Brunson could sneak his name right into that exchange type of reward. And then if we're talking token players, Daniel Gafford has really made a name for himself uh, for the Washington Wizards lately. Maybe a guy like Eric Pascal or maybe even Ty Jerome. Those are kind of my predictions as far as the token and exchange rewards are concerned. Now here we see a very interesting promo all the way around. Now this is the next promo, right? We've saw something like this in the past couple of years with young talent. And what's better than young talent implemented into the season in a next set within that? Obviously, we got Cam Reddish, a card who we haven't seen since, what, season two, season three of my team. It's been a very long time since we've seen a good Cam Reddish card. A highly anticipated card, MPJ, another card that people want in limited, people want in my team unlimited, but I do expect him to be in packs in this upcoming season. And then Tyrese Halburn, like I said, a young talent right there. You could see him as a reward if we do see this young kind of kind of theme behind my team. But if not, Tyrese Halbert in the next pack makes total sense. Obi Toppin, if they make Obi Toppin right, and I, when I say that, basically a go Obi Toppin as a reward card, he could be very, very solid. There is no doubt about that. Some other things to look at, obviously, deep in the force, Anthony Edwards kind of card design right here. Remember, with young talent all season long, expect this to be the season Anthony Edwards gets that new card, right? We've already seen a Dark Matter Ant-Man card, so maybe we go with a Galaxy Opal deep in the force Ant-Man. That's kind of not the headline of a promo or, or a drop, but he might be thrown in there with another card. Just something to think about, guys, with season, season 9 of my team coming up. There's going to be young players all season long. Then, here's where things get fun. We've got a guy like Bobo. Imagine in a season in which young players are on display, we get an out of position three bull bull card that can play point guard. If we get this card, which I don't think it's that far of a reach, watch out guys. My team is going to become something completely different than we have seen in seasons past and years past. I mean, guys, think about it like this. What would we play? Who was our best point guard last year? Ben Simmons at the end of the year. If we get Bobo, he is going to break the game. Last but not least here, we are going to need a lot of Eidos players. Not a lot, but a few other Eidos players in season nine of my team. And if, like I said, if this stays true, right? If we see these young players kind of headlined in the new season, guys, in the we got next Luka Doncic is there's no player to really exemplify that better Luka Doncic has really made a name for himself has become one of the rising stars in and in, in the in the entire league and not only a rising star but just a star in general Luka Doncic has been absolutely elite not only this season last season and season before but who knows what we could possibly see in this idol's job but Luka Doncic is another card just to kind of kind of show you guys. So if we see a card like Bobo out of position, if we see cards like Luka Doncic, heck, if we see an Ant-Man, there's a lot to be excited about. The next packs, right, with Tyrese Howard and Cam Reddish, MPJ, obviously, Obi Toppin. And to headline it all, we got we got next season eight of NBA 2K21, my team. I know I've been saying season nine a lot because I was thinking ahead towards the next season, but season eight, man. Season 8, there is a lot to be excited about. This is personally where I would like 2K to go. I would like a, a season in which we specifically just get young talent. Because we got to think, in Season 9, that's when we're going to see the GOAT Yao Mings of the world. That's when we're going to see cards like that, the GOAT Kareems. I personally think if they make this season a month long, at the start of June to the start of July, and then at the start of July, that's when we get that soup content. That's personally what I would like. They can make soup content with the We Got Next kind of headlining it and, and i think that would be very very good for my team in general now i couldn't record this video without throwing this guy this little detail in here we did just get a tweet from my team in general now this doesn't really show too much here but if i have to kind of break down what i see within this kind of picture here 
This is just my prediction. Now, this doesn't mean anything. Obviously, I, I see the New Orleans Pelicans. I see the 76ers, Celtics, Heat possibly here. I'm not really, I'm not sure what that, I, I don't know right there. Maybe the Utah Jazz, but I don't know what this necessarily means. That looks like a rose to me, but does that mean Derrick Rose? I don't necessarily know. There's a lot in this picture, but it's hard to necessarily decipher what any of this means. Expect 2K to drop more hints as we go along tonight. So, hey, hopefully my predictions are right. Hopefully we get a lot of young talent in this season, but you just never know what 2K is going to decide to do. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.